Hey everyone, this is Jenny Sribi with Confessions of a Hairstylist and I couldn't be more thrilled because I have my model Kendra here. She has this gorgeous mid-length hair and what I'm going to show you ladies how to do today is a Dutch braid updo. I keep on coming across this look on Instagram, on Pinterest and it is so easy to achieve and I'm going to show you ladies how and make sure you stay tuned to the very, very end because I'm going to show you guys how to get a completely different look with the style that I create today. So let's go and get started. All right, for this style, all we're gonna do is section the hair out in three. So basically, we're gonna do a severe side parting, and then down to the back, about to her crown, and then to the nape of her neck, and we're just gonna section off the back section here. So I'm gonna go from her occipital bone to the bottom of her ear, and then I'm gonna clip this left section away for just a little bit later. And then I'm gonna clip the right side section away for just a little bit later. Okay, I've created a low pony, so now all I'm gonna do is create a simple three-stranded braid, and then I'm just gonna secure the ends with an elastic. And obviously if your hair is longer than this, it's gonna create a bigger bun, but I wanted to do someone with um, mid-length hair to show you guys the different options that you have for all you ladies out there with mid-length hair. So now that we've done our uh, braid, I'm just gonna tug on it a little bit, pancake it out. And it's okay if some of her layers come out, that's completely fine. Okay, so basically I'm just gonna create a low bun now, and I'm just gonna go ahead and secure that with bobby pins. All right, so now I'm gonna go ahead and drop our section in the front off and work that section first. So all we're simply gonna do is I'm gonna be creating a um, Dutch braid. So basically, that's just an inside out braid. So I'm gonna take my pinky finger and create a triangle section here. So now we have our triangle section, so I'm gonna split the hair in three. Working underhanded, I'm gonna take our section to our, from our right, under our section into the middle, and now our section to the left, under the section into the middle. So now we're gonna work that same technique all the way down, but our sections that are to the right and left, we're gonna incorporate hair into them. So now our section to our right, we're simply just gonna incorporate a little bit of hair into it and then go under into the middle. Now our section to our left, we're just gonna incorporate that into our section and then go under into the middle. Now that I'm getting to the ends, I'm gonna leave a couple inches out because we're gonna pancake this out, so I, want the, um, I don't want the elastic to travel too far up. So I'm gonna simply um, just secure it with an elastic. And now I'm gonna repeat the same technique on the opposite side. So now I'm just gonna secure the ends with an elastic, and now the fun begins. I love this part. I'm simply just going to pancake the braids out just to add a lot of fullness and plumpness to the hair. So basically when I say pancake, all we're gonna do is take the braid and just pull it out. Okay, so now that I've pancaked both of our braids, all I'm gonna simply do is take our right braid, drape it over to the left, secure it with a few bobby pins, 
And then I'm gonna do the same thing to our left section, drape it over. And you can see since her hair was mid-length, she has a little bit of end sticking out. So I'm just gonna simply tuck that up into her updo. And I think that looks really, really nice. It's very, very modern and trendy. Okay, so now I'm gonna finish this look off with a little bit of hairspray, and you can see that it gave it a really beautiful, nice Dutch braid effect. It looks gorgeous. And just for fun, I wanna show you ladies how to get it a little bit more editorial. So I'm gonna really have some fun and really pull on it. So basically all I'm gonna do now is really pull the braid out. And you can see how it really plumps up our braid. I'm gonna use a little bit of VIP Volume and Powder Spray by Kirastas. This is new stuff, it adds a lot of texture to the hair. And then just continue to pull on it. And you can see that it created a completely different look, a little bit bigger, a little bit more editorial, and definitely a lot of fun. All right, so you can see that gave it a really nice, fun editorial fill. I just love the end parts when I pull out the hair and mess it up a little bit. It just is so fun and it looks so awesome. So for more hair tutorials every single week, please subscribe to my channel and feel free to check me out on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, I got it all, and I'll see you girls soon.